Hello and welcome back. In this short tutorial, we want to explore the whiteboard features inside of Zoom. We'll go ahead and navigate down to share screen in your bottom toolbar. Share screen is where you will access the digital whiteboard. So I'll select share screen. The whiteboard is going to be under your basic functions. So when we select whiteboard and choose share, we will see that we have a virtual whiteboard here. And this whiteboard can be resized, so if you need more space to work with it, you can do that. You'll also notice that in the lower uh, right-hand corner, there is the ability to make multiple whiteboards. So by selecting these, I can um, not have to clear out my drawings. Notice that I have a creepy looking alien on slide one, but on slide two here, I have a clean whiteboard for this. In terms of the actual tools for whiteboard, one of the things that I personally found a little bit frustrating at first was um, feeling like I constantly to get out of this pencil mode or any of these other edit modes, I had to come up to this bar. One thing I want to show you here is that if I select, for instance, the draw tool and I just draw an arrow here, if I right click with my mouse, notice that the target or the draw tool will default back to the select tool. Let me do that just one more time for you to see. Okay, I'm going to select the eraser tool here. You can see that the eraser tool is still selected. Now if I right click with my mouse, it will default back to the selector tool. The other things that I want you to be aware of here um, under this clear, notice that I can clear all of my drawings or I can uh, clear viewers drawings if I have other participants engaging with this. Okay, and that's under clear and one of the things that's a little bit strange about that is you don't see the drop down menu for that. Last thing I want to show you here is this save option on the whiteboard. If I come down into save, you'll notice that I have a couple of choices here. One, I can save this as a PDF uh, document or I can save it as a PNG image. So, and if I do choose to save these, um, below this, if I wanna access these recordings, it will uh, allow me to find the location. By default, this is going to go to a folder that Zoom has created for you and then you'll probably want to rename these files if you want to share these images or drawings with your students at some other point. Lastly, we can always clear out this whiteboard tool. Um, if we want the annotations back, we can just, again, click on this whiteboard here at the top. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I think if you work with those tools and keep that in mind, you'll find this helpful and make working with the annotation tools and the whiteboard a more pleasant experience. If you have questions, like always, please reach out to us in the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning.